Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is a Friday edition of Weather 2020 YouTube. Uh, we're going to go over a weather question today, and then we're also we're going to look at the weekend weather, and then severe weather threat really starts to pick up for us, especially late next week. So we're going to be talking about that. And then on top of that, uh, we'll do a little bit of the long range forecast because we haven't done that so far this week. All right. First off, huge shout out to my boys, Superior Roofing and Construction, a four state premier roofing contractor. Of course, um, they're local Joplin, Missouri, 7th and High Street. And if you have roofing needs, of course, we're in severe weather season. Give them a call. Uh, Cole, Evan, Carlos, they'll help you out. And um, if you mention my name, they'll give a percentage to the Christian Hetty Foundation, which is great. All right. So severe weather. Uh, here's our weather question for today. And remember, if you ever have a question, just leave it in the comment section below on the YouTube video. And I'll put it down on my list. But when is a peak severe weather season for us? So let's say for the entire state of Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri, uh, we usually have about a four-week peak. And we are going into it uh, shortly, even about a five-week peak. But uh, really from about April 27th, April 28th, through about May 25th, that is our peak severe weather season but then it starts to trail off but we still get quite a bit of severe weather even in the month of june so we always have to watch that as well but overall uh the next six weeks and they look like we're going to stay on the active side all right looking outside for us today not a whole bunch going on the storm system that gave us Severe weather over the past couple days is now long gone across the eastern seaboard. We do have this weak wave across parts of Nebraska, western Kansas, which is going to move in as we go through the uh, next 36 hours or so. But it's mainly going to drop rain through Oklahoma and parts of Arkansas. So uh, most of Kansas and Missouri, you're not going to see much. But you can see this little upper level wave, which is right on track with the LRC. Um, remember, so last cycle, let's see here. Uh, what is today? Today is the 19th, 18th. So last cycle, this came through. Uh, it was also very weak. So this was in early March. And you can see this upper level wave out toward Las Vegas, Los Angeles. So this is going to slide through, but it's not going to do too much for us. All right, let's look at your weekend. Chilly tonight. Clouds start to increase. Uh, temperatures all the way down to about 42 in Kansas City, uh, lower 40s in Joplin, uh, and upper 40s in Oklahoma City. But you can see the showers from Oklahoma City, Fort Smith, Little Rock, and then south. Any thunderstorms will mainly stay down across parts of Texas. Also a few showers up across parts of Nebraska moving into central parts of Kansas. Now as we go through the daytime hours tomorrow, the rain it advances a little bit farther north. So Tulsa, you'll get a few showers. Northwest Arkansas, you'll get a few showers. May even get a random shower in Joplin and Springfield and West Plains as well. But Kansas City, Salina, St. Louis, you guys all look pretty good. Let's go into Sunday morning. That system rolls out. Kind of cold. Uh, north central Kansas, you guys are going to kind of push a frost as we go into Sunday morning. I think everybody else will stay warm enough mainly into the lower 40s. As we go into Sunday afternoon, it looks pretty good. It's still kind of cool for this time of the year. All of us should be topping out into uh, that 70 to about 75 degree range, but still 60 to 65 is not bad. All right, then we start to get some changes. So let's go into next week here. We're going to stop on Tuesday. Cold front drops in. This produces showers and thunderstorms from St. Louis, uh, Lake of the Ozarks, Springfield, Joplin, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. I don't really see these being severe as of right now. I think they're just going to be showers and a few thunderstorms. The front drops south by Tuesday evening, so rain moves into southern Oklahoma and then into north central Arkansas. As we go into Wednesday... Our warm front is going to be kind of draped from oh Dodge City back to Oklahoma City, Texarkana. And this is going to start to lift north. And this will set the stage for the next storm system moving in on Thursday. And this will most likely be severe, especially central Kansas down through central Oklahoma. Uh, this could be a pretty decent size severe weather outbreak. And then severe weather will push east as we go through Thursday night 
and Friday morning. Uh, so we'll get severe weather in Kansas City, Joplin, Tulsa, Northwest Arkansas as well. And then we set the stage again for another big wave, which is going to roll out. So these are coming in right on cue. Um, if you remember Christmas Eve, we had showers and thunderstorms. That was two cycles ago. It's this system, which is returning. But Saturday afternoon, uh, so this is next Saturday, we could get explosive severe weather across central Kansas down through Oklahoma, and then again pushing east into northeastern Kansas, Kansas City, Joplin, Springfield, Fayetteville. Uh, so we next, really Friday, Saturday, and Sunday could be very interesting. All right, let's look at your long-range forecast. So uh, really only one cool day, Sunday. We're about 10 degrees below average. All the gray days are going to be days that temperatures are pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. And then, of course, all of the yellow days are going to be the days that uh, are a little bit, well, about 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. All right, but you can see, so we're starting on Sunday. You can see the thunderstorms next Tuesday, and then next Thursday into Friday, and then late Saturday into Sunday, and then another wave even on Monday. So uh, we're going to have a severe threat, at least a lower one Thursday night into Friday, and then late Saturday, Sunday, and then into Monday. Um, then we go into May. So the first and second, we have a wave which is going to rotate through. I don't think that's going to be a severe weather outbreak at all, but I really want to watch the fourth and the fifth. So that's the first weekend of May. Uh, so again, on a weekend, Saturday into Sunday, and then we have another event on the eighth and the ninth that could be severe. So we may have two events that week. As we go into the middle of the month, we get a, a little bit of a lull. So from the 10th through about the 15th, we're looking pretty good. And then the 15th, 16th, severe weather threat rolls back in. Then we get nice weather again, 17th, 18th, 19th, which is a weekend. And then severe threat again on the 21st, 24th, and 25th. So if we count all of the days that we could see severe weather, um, we'll count next Thursday even though I think the chances are lower, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the 4th into the 5th, 8th uh, into the 9th, and then if we look at the 15th, 16th, and then the 24th, 25th. So uh, really about nine days over the next five weeks, we could have severe weather affecting us. So we're gonna, it's going to be active. It's been an active season so far. All right, guys, any questions, comments, leave them below. I hope you guys have a great Friday evening. And then, of course, a uh, fantastic weekend. I'll probably do another video Sunday, and then we'll start really looking into the severe threat for the weekend. Or not the weekend, next week.